Welcome back adventurers to Black Book. We are on our way to Trinity Church for the wedding, but before we get there we have to pass near the Crooked Forest or through the Crooked Forest. While we were busy with the wedding that Colden could have taken advantage of the Crooked Forest. Uh-oh. Свадебный поезд въезжает под сень мрачных деревьев кривого леса. Из вечернего мрака доносятся странные звуки. Похоже, неизвестный колдун испортил и эту дорогу. The wedding train reaches the shadows of the gloomy trees of the crooked forest. Strange sounds escape the permanent darkness. It appears the mysterious Calden cursed this road as well. Ваши опасения были не напрасны. Хотя этот лес вам знаком с детства, дорога упирается в развилку, которую вы припомнить не можете. Кажется, по колее слева телеги ездят чуть чаще. Your suspicions prove correct. Although you have known this forest since you were a child, the road meets a fork that you have no memory of. Looks like the turn on the left is used more often than the one to the right. Hmm. But if there has never been a turn, that is a trick. So we turn right. Вновь развилка. Слева лес расступается. Справа дорога делает петлю в обратном направлении. Another fork. To the left of you the forest parts, and to the right the road loops back around. Then we go left. Дорога обрывается на широкой поляне. Пока свадебный поезд разворачивается, вы успеваете спрыгнуть с телеги и с приговором набрать целебных трав. The road stops at a white glade. While the wedding procession is turning around, you have some time to gather some healing herbs. Nice. Вновь развилка. <laughs> Слева лес расступается. Справа дорога делает петлю в обратном направлении. Another fork. To the left. The first part. Well, now we go right. Ваши then. опасения были не напрасны. Хотя этот лес вам знаком с детства, дорога упирается в развилку, которую вы припомнить не можете. Okay. Кажется, then, по колее слева телеги left. ездят чуть чаще. <laughs> Очередная развилка и вновь незнакомая. Дорога, ведущая налево, кажется погружена во мрак, а над путем справа пробивается лунный свет. You don't recognize the last fork either. The road to the left looks like it's submerged in darkness, and you see some moonlight above the road to the right. Вы добираетесь до очередной развилки. Слева дорога пролегает через густую чащу. Справа виднеется просвет среди деревьев. You arrive at another fork. The road to the left lies through a thick forest. To the right, you see a clearing amongst trees. Always go to the light. Наконец, лес остается позади. До Вильгарта осталось совсем немного, так что вы делаете передышку. Finally, the forest is behind you. Vilgard is close, so you decide to take a break. Oh, Mikhail's Crossroads. The crossroads are a haunted place. Mikhail's Crossroads especially so. Михайловская ростань выглядит незнакомо, и вы теряете все ощущение пространства. Где север, где восток? Вы словно впервые оказались на этом перекрестке. Вы решаете прибегнуть к ворожбе, поэтому быстро шепчете слова заговора и прислушиваетесь. You can't tell north from south, as if it's as if you are standing at this crossroad for the first time. You decide to resort to sorcery. You quickly whisper the words of the Sagavore and listen. Mythological and pagan worldviews view the future as predetermined by destiny. This is why one could glimpse the future from divinations. During calendar holidays, when the borders between worlds grow thin, sorcery was considered to be especially effective. In a place of transition, such as a crossroad, sorcery might become even more reliable. Thus, at a crossroad at night and during Yuletide divinations, one could hear hints regarding the future. Sounds of a woodcutter's axe, told of a coffin death was construction, constructing, 
while the sound of jingle bells told of a feast approaching wedding. And that's what um, Petka mentioned in the last episode too. доносятся колокольцы, справа стук топора, а впереди слышен жалобный плач. Какую же дорожку выбрать? You hear the sounds of bells from the left, sounds of an axe from the right, and a mournful wailing ahead. What road should you take? We are going to a wedding, so we go to the bells. Вы выбираете верный путь. Вы безошибочно выбираете направление. Такая ворожба вам по зубам. Путь до Вильгарта проходит без приключений, и вам удается немного отдохнуть. Кажется, остается последний отрезок дороги до Троицкой церкви. You make no mistake in choosing the road. This task is right down your alley. The road to Vilgard passes by uneventfully and you have a chance to rest. Looks like this is the last piece of the road to the Church of the Trinity. And there we are. We've nearly made it to the church. There he is. It's not Alexander. I think. Vasilisa, тормози поезд. It is. Vasilisa, stop the procession. It is him. Alexander, мы не можем остановить. Примета плохая. Alexander, we can't. It's a bad omen. Теперь уже и не скроешь, я полагаю. Но нет времени спорить. Я намерился испортить твой поезд и доведу это дело до конца. I suppose I can't hide it now. No time to argue. I intend to curse your wedding procession and I'm willing to see it through. Что? И ты мне говорил, что делаешь все ученым способом? What? And you were telling me that everything you do is based on science? Я могу оставить его в покое, но только если отдашь мне книгу. I can't leave it be, but only if you give me the book. What? Why? No. Зачем тебе портить свадьбу? But why do you need to ruin the wedding? Все просто. Я могу забрать этот артефакт только если ты ослабнешь. It's simple. I can take this artifact only if you're sufficiently weakened. Если поезд остановится, порча может выплеснуться. If... Что произойдет, только Господь Бог знает. If the procession stops, the curse may splash out. Only God knows what should happen then. Конечно, ты так говоришь, чтобы я не мешал. Не будет ничего. Right, you're only saying this so I wouldn't interfere. No such thing will happen. Hmm. But he's not sure anymore. You can't scare me, Vasilisa. Either give me the book or the procession stops. So that's how it is in your world? Always playing pretend? You could have helped me with the snake that time. Я хотел, но ты справлялась сама, и я решил посмотреть, что ты за колдунья. I wanted to, but you were doing fine on your own, and I wanted to see what kind of a witch you were. Посмотрел. Думаю, такая же сильная, как я. Я не хочу никому вредить. Мне всего лишь нужна книга. I did. I think you are as powerful as me. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just need the book. Знаешь про нее? Зачем она тебе? Что ты задумал? You know about it? What do you need it for? What are you planning? Не тяни время, Василиса! Don't stall, Василиса! Find me! Well, I don't think I want to negotiate with him. He tricked us. Я не могу отдать книгу. Сам ведь знаешь! I can't give you the book, you know that. Тогда выход только один! Дефон-туа! <laughs> Then it's the only way! Дефон-туа! Noah versus Noah. He's a golden master. 2 to 10. Removes all negative statuses. Amplifies its attack by 2. After each use of pages of the same name. Goes first. If he has less words in the saga word than you. And all minions disappear when this demon dies. So we don't have to bother. 200. Okay, we have one Gria. Mm. Only waste, that's bad. 
He doesn't attack for much, so we use him. It increases for five turns. Uh, we could bless, increase our bless. Refresh immediately, but we don't need healing. It would be a waste. Yeah, so. Then we lay double waste on him. I think we keep our Kriya and uh, we could curse and it remains active. Why not? Why not? Oh right, he goes first and we don't have the protection. Ugh. Dang, I didn't consider that. So everything was a waste. He summons, deals five, and defends. He's cursed, though. He can curse some more. We don't have a negative yet. Um, what if I play the curse? He has three. So if I have three, two, He's not going first. Yeah, if he's less. So, we do that. And we go first. Thing is, we don't do damage. Yet. What's that? Damage absorption. We don't attack him anyways. So. He's cursed. He will summon more evil spirits. Give me my... Give me my Krias. <laughs> mm, I don't think we can remove anything from him. Unremovable. Yeah, both are. But... Unremovable. We could remove that, I think. But we don't attack him anyways. We don't have a negative yet, but we are quite blessed. Um, we could do a regen. He casts three. So. Mm. We need our Kriyas. We can only cast three. Should I? I could combine these with that and do only two damage, but we do get... Oh, well, no, with that. Let's... Yeah. Let's heal. Then we combine that, we take whatever comes at us, because he's protected anyways, but hmm. He cast that non-stop, right? We need, yeah, we need to combine the curse in one spell. Like he won't keep the curse because he will remove it. Let's go up. So if we can damage, if we can do damage, we do a lot. Which absorption? Yeah, that's fine. Yes, the same. I mean, they do, do a ton of damage now. That's the problem. 
Okay. So now we need to curse. What? Mm. We could remove these positives and just kill one off, but then I think he will just get another one. We need him this round. So two only. We can curse him with a herb. Um, and we could eat that. Yeah, let's fire up that. Then parrot block for that round, but they do a ton of damage. And on I only have 10. Goodness gracious. Hmm. I need to curse him. Now he's cursed. And then I put that on him. And that's all I can do, otherwise he goes first. So I think instead of that, which doesn't do anything for me at the moment, I'll cast that to get a bit more protection. Curse is gone. No, curse is not gone. We, he's still cursed. That's good. I do take 10, which is not good. But I have a regen. And he's still cursed. Now we have to hit heart. If we can. Mm, I can hit him now. But why should I? I can take three. I I need better cards. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't do damage. That's my only chance. What's oh damage absorption? He casts that on himself. Okay. Hmm. I don't know about that. I can't do damage. And we have no protection. I mean, four. Let's fire up that have that because we need herbs the next round and that we keep that hmm maybe we need that though the problem is that this is the only chance how much yeah I need to do that and I maybe even have to eat all the damage and also cast that We heal up for four. Oh gosh, that's a lot of damage though. But I can eat it. And I can heal then. Because they will go first now. I think I'm doing it. Oh, 
Oh, right, that, but then he casts. Ah, oh, again, I thought wrong. Oh, he doesn't go first. Ah, okay. At least. So don't eat his damage. Okay. Отдай мне книгу, Василиса! И все поезжане будут в безопасности! Give me the book, Vasilisa, and the guests will be safe. Им нечего бояться. Я огражу свадьбу. They have nothing to fear. I'll protect the wedding. Okay. He's not cursed, but he's unprotected. He summons the dead evil spirit. He... I don't have to bother. Um, he casts only two, though. So now we have that. So we curse him again. And then we cast this combined with that. Curse, curse, curse. Bless, curse. We have one more only. <sighs> That's a lesser curse. Hmm. Yeah, I need that curse on him. Then he takes the damage. Then we hit him with that. Or maybe a well burst rather. I mean, it ups his, yeah, he gets rid of it anyways. Oh, we should have taken the lesser. Dang. That's a lot of damage though. Let's do it. That's fine. Twelve damage. He gets rid of the curse. And he... I don't want to you, Vasilisa, but if it comes... I don't want to hurt you, Vasilisa, not if I don't have to. You've been lying like the devil himself. And now you want me to believe you? Yeah, I don't... Oh, gosh. <laughs> but now I can uh, fire up the Kriya. Um, he casts three. So, let's curse him again. He'll come up only in the next round, but we need also healing. We could heal up completely with our 20 healing, but... And then... Wait. I should have taken the other curse. Stupid me. Heals five and the enemy loses health. Hmm. We could eliminate his defense, but we can only take one herb. And I don't have a curse in my hand. And we need that, so we curse him. Oh! <laughs> That's not bad. Um, then... Wait, what did I eat? Oh no! He's not cursed. I did... I did not curse him. Well, I'm confused. Forty damage. Hmm. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I 
I think we ward and fire up the Gria on him, which doesn't do much. I mean 20. I do 20 damage. Would it be worth it? Mm. 73 taking all the damage. I could heal. 40 damage though. That's that's a ton and we only heal up for two. But it has to be done. I'm doing it. It's worth it. If he doesn't have heal, he's dead in the next round. And with him, his uh, companion. And I can heal up. Give up! Or the entire wedding procession will be transformed. Not if I stop you first. And he's lower than I am, so that's okay. Where did I get that from now? So I can use him. 18, he summons, which is okay. No, I still have that. I do 5 damage. No. Oh, it removes that. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. So we take now just... Oh, we could... No, we heal. Mm, we heal. I think... Oh, that could be useful. No, we only can cast three. I don't have another curse, right? I'm just looking because it would be so helpful. Nope, nope, no, we don't. Where's my 20 health? Five. I mean, why not vampirism, right? It will do damage. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Um, this is on him. I have a Kriya. With seven. Which would uh, end it increases. Yeah, he's dead, anyways. But we can cast that just in case somebody attacks still. Let's get the bless first and then the Kriya. Okay, you protect. Three. Let's see if we heal up a bit. Yep. He's dead. Mushroom bread. Okay, that's pretty cool. I want to have the mushroom. <laughs> to the faithful. Oh ho, he had quite a bit of money in his pocket. Alexandra заметит, что тот слабеет, ударяет вожжи и двуколка уносится в сторону. Вы с ужасом понимаете, что последние его заговоры были направлены не на вас, а на поезд. Лошади спотыкаются, и первые телеги с грохотом переворачиваются. Весь мир превращается в какофонию из криков людей и животных. Alexander's driver notices that his master is weakened and strikes the horses. The gig drives away. With horror, you realize 
that his last sack of horse weren't directed at you, but at the procession. The horses lose their footing and the first carts overturn with a terrible crash. The world around you turns into a cacophony of screams, both animal and human. Oh no, we couldn't prevent people from dying? Порча Александра упала на ослабленный поезд и пронзила его насквозь. Часть поезжан превратились в волков и убежала в лес. Другие потеряли сознание или травмированы падением. Вы замечаете деда Егора и устремляетесь к нему. Несколько заговоров, и ваш наставник приходит в себя. Александр's curse hits the weakened wedding procession and slices through it. Some of the wedding guests turn into wolves and run into the forest. Others have lost consciousness or are injured from the crash. You notice old Igor and run towards him. Several Sagavors later and your mentor comes to his senses. Man, that's a worst case scenario. We beat Alexander and nonetheless he did what he intended to. Дедушка! Дедушка, ты живой? Grandpa, Grandpa, are you alive? Василиса! Ох, Господи Иисусе, голова-то как болит! Василиса, oh Jesus, my head hurts. Погоди, я еще пошепчу. Wait, I'll whisper a bit. Не до того. Что с поездом? Спортили все-таки? No time. What happened to the procession? Was it cursed after all? Да, многие волками обернулись. Yes, many of the guests were turned into wolves. Обернулись. Значит, не приблазнилась. Я видел, как Федька обращался. So they were. I wasn't seeing straight. I saw how Fedka was turning. Я доберусь до этого Александра. Ох, как теперь быть-то? I'll get that, Alexander. Oh, but what should we do now? Ну-ка, не причитай, не до парня этого. Сначала свадьбу наладить надо. Shush, don't whine. There's no time to think about that, lad, now. First we fix the wedding. Ничего, ничего. Волков выловишь и поладишь, а там, глядишь, и печать откроется. That's all right. You'll catch the wolves and heal them. Next thing you know, the seal will be broken. Как я их найду-то? Тут и бесы могут не найти порченных-то. Yeah, how convenient that we need the wolves anyway. How will I find them? Even my shorts may not be able to find the cursed. Ничего, найдем. Есть у меня знакомый один охотник. Он выследит их. We'll find them. I have this old friend of mine, a hunter. He will track them. Разузнай, кто пропал, до раненых палать. Find out who's missing and fix up the wounded. Потом и в дорогу можно готовиться. Then we'll get ready for the road. Как они в волков-то превратились? У нас тут про такое лет сто уж не слыхали. How did they turn into wolves? No one has heard of such a thing for a hundred years or more. Так чё, порчу хорошую твой дружок навёл, да и потом права ты была. Well, your friend there cast strong curse, and then you were right. Федька не то чтобы сильно знаткой да для дружки. Федька is not very knowledgeable for a best man. Как мне их расколдовать? How do I lift the curse? Нужна трава специальная, слезы кукушечьи. Она в лесных чащах растет, во владениях лешего. Думаю, охотник тебе и с растением этим поможет. You need a special herb, cuckoo's tears. It grows deep in the forest, in the lashy's domain. I think this hunter of mine will give you a hand with the herb as well. Fetka тоже обратился? So Fetka turned also? Да. Вон гармонь валяется. Думал, привиделась. Yeah, there is this accordion. At first I thought I was seeing things. Что с молодыми-то будет теперь? What do we do with the bride and groom? Ничего, Стюжа. Я пару молитв тайных знаю, научу. They'll manage. I'll teach them a couple of secret prayers. 
Кто этот знакомый твой? Who's that friend of yours? Охотник один. Дома расскажу. Just a hunter. I'll tell you at home. Oh, man. What a disaster. But, I mean, did people die? No, not Aquilina. Здесь лежит ваша знакомая и потница Акулина. Она потеряла сознание. Кажется, девушка ранена. Your friend, the Kotnitsa, is lying there. Акулина has lost consciousness. It seems the girl is hurt. Акулина приходит в себя и с трудом поднимается на ноги. Акулина comes to her senses and with difficulty stands on her feet. Ой, Васенька, ты меня подлечила? Спасибо. Все тут ты мне помогаешь. О, oh, Вася, have you healed me? Акуля жива! Ой, Господи! О, Господи Иисусе! Акулина, ты жив! О, Lord, о, oh, Lord, о, oh, Jesus! Теперь с ней все будет хорошо. Акулина, ты заметила, куда волки побежали? She's going to be all right now. Акулина, have you noticed where the wolves went? Не видела. Я как упала, так ничего не помню. I haven't. I don't remember anything since I fell. Петьки только нет нигде. Наверное, тоже обернулся. I can't see Petka anywhere. He must have been turned too. Матушка тебя домой отведет. Отдохни уж там. Your mother will bring you home. Rest there. Ладно, Васенька. All right, Вася. Oh gosh, that's horrible. Can I talk to her some more? Спасибо тебе, Василиса Федоровна. Век за тебя молиться буду. Thank you, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. I'll pray for you. Заметила, куда волки делись? Did you notice where the wolves ran? В сторону пакчи куда-то. Сразу в лес скрылись. Так тут разве разглядишь-то, ага? Somewhere in the direction of Pakcha. They hid in the forest straight away. I barely had any time to look. Заметила только, что невестиных подруг несколько обернулась. Ух, жуть-то какая! I only noticed that several of the bridesmaids turned. The horror. Слышала про это? Да не думала, что на нас выпадет. I've heard of such a thing, but never thought we'd witness it. Let's read about werewolves, shall we? Coldens are not people at all. Their souls wander, wander restlessly between heaven and hell. It's no wonder they are disagreeable. They often do more harm than good. They especially dislike not being invited to weddings. One time in our village, a Colvin did not want his daughter to marry a simple plowman. He needed to pass his craft on to his next of kin, you see. But his daughter defied him. Long story short, the guests gathered in his yard. They were noisy and in a festive mood. The Colvin decided to have some fun at their expense. He whispered something and the guests turned into wolves and began thrashing about in the yard. But he had erred somewhat. He forgot to close the gates and the werewolves escaped to the forest. Werewolves are easy to, disti to distinguish from regular wolves, for they have red eyes and serve the latter. Okay. But it seems we can help them. Or turn them back. I'm now I'm stuck here. Uh oh. Not even the auto walk works. Uh oh. I might have to really load. Or maybe if I reset by talking to her. No, I'm still back here. Oh no! Whew. I think I got it. There's a horse. Some horses have fled. Only the bravest of them have stayed. Well, we have three brave horses. Four! That's good. Let's talk to the bride. Vasilisa! Голова кружится у меня. Где Николай? Vasilisa, my head is dizzy. Where's Nikolai? Не видно его. Послушай. I can't see him. I'm listening. Обернулся тоже. He's also been transformed. Видимо, на роду мне написано к нечистой силе вернуться. I seem to be distant to go return to evil spirits. Не отчаивайся. Я отправлюсь за ним и другими поезжанами. 
Don't lose heart. I'll go after him and the rest of the guests. I know I failed at protecting the wedding, but I'll try to fix it. Looks like you were right about Fetka. I should have listened to you. He's not the one who ruined the wedding. That was another Calden. That's all right, I'll deal with him. As soon as I get Nikolai back, you will make it to the church. I'll set your life straight. I hope that God will help you, Vasilisa. Man, what a disaster. Help that person. A wounded peasant girl is lying in the cross. Looks like she's lost consciousness. The girl thanks you with a weak voice, but then loses her senses again. At least, her life isn't at risk. All the cards have turned over. Some of them are broken. They are quite easy to fix. The guests, on the other hand. Hmm. Do we have more options on the brave horse? Oh, don't go, don't go there. They are also worried. It smells like wolves here. Okay. So even Nikolai... Dang. The girl is healed. Oh man! So many people lost. Ready to go back? You can barely stand upright. I think we'll go. But it was Alexander all along. Vasilisa, vstavai. Svitai tuže. Vasilisa, get up. It's morning already. Nada terapica, paka volči sled ne astil. We need to hurry while the wolf tracks are still fresh. Ja tebe včera pre znakomova skazval, ochotnik odnavo. On master svojvo delta. I told you yesterday about my friend the hunter. He's a master of his craft. Pa može tebe ljubova zvere vyslediť. He can track any beast. These aren't exactly beasts. And the hunters aren't exactly simple folk. They are knowers of their own sort. Some are friends with the Leshi. Others know Sagvors. This one is called Irad. A smart man lives near Cherdin. You think he'll help me? He will. When you meet him, tell him I sent you. We had a deal. I give him the staff and he owes me one. How do I find the guests? You and I Rad will follow the tracks. I also need to talk to Alexander. There's no point in that. He must have fled. If I were him, I would stay away from you. You're right, Grandpa. Oh no! I should have insisted. I was... My hand was faster <laughs> than my brain. <laughs> the moment we look, we took on the next seal, the wolves show up. As if the devil himself arranged it. I don't know. If anyone helps us, it must be some power from above. Satan can only spoil things and forces of light wouldn't curse the wedding. 
Mysterious are his ways. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, it's not actually help. If they curse so many people. You think I can break the curse with the wedding guests? Only you can find out. Okay. Where can I find your friend? Irat lives close to Cherdin. You'll learn about him in the town, in the hunting shop there. It's summer now, so he shouldn't be wandering in the woods. Чтобы волков поладить, ищи траву кукушечьи слезы. Она в лесу должна быть. А может и у торговца какого завалилась. Посмотришь на рынке тамшнем. To cure the wolves, look for a cuckoo's tears herb. You should find it in the forest. Some herbalists may also have it. Have a look in the town market. А главное, пропечать не забывай. And above all, don't forget the seal. Хорошо, дедушка. All right, grandpa. Man, what an episode. That was crazy. No wedding for us. And no wedding for Matriona. But we have werewolves. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'll end the episode here. In the next one, we'll hunt them down. Thank you so, so much for watching this one. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.